Hey everyone and welcome back to Schneids 15. Uh, today we got this Dodge Mirror in the shop again. Uh, this is one of the new ones I bought and after all of my uh, lecture last time on how to tell the OEM mirrors versus the aftermarket ones, I noticed that this one here, it moves super easy, this OEM one. And to tighten it up, we want to do that because this is going to it's going to rattle, right? The other ones you can't tighten up, but this one, you know, it's it's good quality and we're going to tighten it up. So let's uh, get to doing this. Uh, you'll probably see me in a mirror since we're dealing with the mirror here. Just forgive me. So basically that ball stud I showed you in the last video attaches right to the body in the mirror. So if you smash your glass, you can put new stuff in. If you have glass that's not smashed, you got to pull it out. So the, as far as I can see by diagrams and stuff, it looks like this is all uh, glued in with adhesive behind here. So I'm going to heat this up and try and get my picks or screwdrivers, whatever. I got some tools for doing uh, iPhone stuff that I've worked on before. And uh, we're going to try and get behind there and pry gently out on this once it's heated up and see if we can get this glass out and then there should be a, a little uh, ball assembly in there with a nut on it that we can tighten up. So let's get to heating this thing and uh, see if we can get this out in one piece. Okay, so after all of that hammering, we are uh, off, or not, I should not say hammering. Uh, basically, I had these little tools that I would go behind that mirror glass and just keep shoving it farther and farther and keep prying. Uh, it looks like from factory that these are your adhesive pads, which I will leave on there because there's a spacer there. But this here looks like caulking to me. It looks like somebody has been in here once before and put a bunch of dabs of caulking around. That's why they're all uneven like that. Uh, the guy that I bought these off of, he said that his, his grandfather owned the truck since new, so maybe he knocked off some mirror glass and had to replace it once, and this is what he got. Or uh, 
it just simply the adhesive went bad because I can see here there's two marks where it was like it, that it had moved a little bit so I'm thinking honestly that that adhesive just simply went bad and uh, he had to replace it so anyways we're left with this which I didn't know what we were getting into so let's check it out from what I can see we need this ball stud to get tighter against this so this is just a pop uh, piece here it's like uh, barb almost I, I don't know what you call that name but we're gonna take a socket and get it pretty big and just give it a couple wax and that should shove it down on the shaft farther in turn tightening up our mirror we'll see how it works Okay, so with a couple light taps and an 11 16 socket on there, it pushed that below where it is. It looks like it's only sitting about a sixteenth of an inch lower or so. Uh, seems pretty good now. Doesn't want to wobble around like it did. Uh, it's a little stiff going into here, but I don't think I'm going to loosen it off because when I go like this, I can see it flexing in here and I think it's actually pinching on the ball stud there. So with its pinching, uh, just because it's flexing that's what's making it hard I think because if I go elsewhere and move it it's fine or closer so uh, the mirror won't ever be turned out like that anyways I guess if it's flipped up maybe but uh, it'll mostly probably be sitting just like this or so anyways that's that's it we're gonna grab some uh, uh, caulking I'm going to use Permatex to write stuff because it's kind of like an adhesive so I'm going to clean up this stuff and we're just going to glue it on uh, in these uh, four spots like it was on factory I might put a bit more I'll see so I took a razor blade and just scraped off all of that stuff on the back it looks pretty good now so I still wasn't quite happy with it, so I just put a little tiny bit of oil in there just to lube up that socket a bit, just so it wasn't And it. It's very nice and tight now. Moves smoothly, but still holds tight, so I don't have to worry about it moving and shaking. So go around and push very evenly on this guys and just hold pressure on it because what that caulking is going to do, that little blurb I put, it's going to spread out slowly. And we want it to spread out really nicely because if not we're going to have little ripples in here because this does flex a little bit. It, it, it really does. And if we have a bow it's going to make your mirror all distorted if this isn't perfectly flat or very close to perfectly flat. So just put pressure on it. Make sure it's set into there really good and uh, that the adhesive is all pushed out. And uh, now we're just going to leave this stuff for 24 hours or whatever. I don't need to use the mirror right away. So we're going to just leave it flat here so gravity can do its thing. I might put a couple uh, pieces of something on. I'll see if it deforms it at all because it is kind. Of, this does kind of hold the structure. Anyways, let's uh, leave this and we're done. As always guys, thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe.
If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.